Our host for this evening show, Coy Jandro. Coy! What? What? How's it going, everybody? These are my absolute favorite events of the year because of you guys. You are exactly me. I, I wait in these lines, I sleep in tents, and then I watch Marvel movies, and you are amongst the first to see a brand new Marvel movie. How excited are we? <laughs> All right, so this movie is stacked. I've seen it, I'll reveal nothing, but I got a crowdsource. Who are we most excited to see in this? We're waiting for Doctor Strange? <laughs> We're waiting for Miss Wanda Maximoff? <laughs> She's been involved with Marvel since 2005. She is instrumental to this existing. I am honored to bring out Victoria Alonso. Because 
Everywhere in the world there's artistry that is stamped every time that we have a movie. And the beautiful thing about artists is they always have ideas. This is the right studio for ideas. If you have ideas, we want to hear it. So we welcome, one, one thing, we go out with what we think we're going to make and then somebody goes, hey, what about if? And we go, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Do we have time for that? Yeah, let's try it, okay, let's try it. So there's a lot of ideas here that come from trying to put together the puzzle um, from talented folks around the world. The, if you ever see a movie like this done without visual effects, it's a sea of green and blue and a lot of talented humans moving around doing moments that <laughs> look a little bit like that. Uh, and then there's moments where there's beautiful dialogue. But without it, I think what I love the most is to see the birth. The birth of an idea, the birth of not an effect, but the effect of the effect. Because one thing is to say, um, I am Iron Man. And the other thing is to see him land fist on the, on the floor. And then you go, oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> My last question for you. In this, we've got a multiverse. And I yes. love the concept of multiverse because it, it's kind of self-reflective. It's almost therapeutic. Like, what would you change if you could meet another version of you? So if you could travel in a multiverse, in the world of your imagination, what would you want to meet in another you? I would love to go to a place where being a nerd is okay. At the L And a place where all of our differences would amount to the great, great, great power of being unique and um, that all of that creates harmony and peace. I would like to go to a place where it's okay to be who you are, it's okay to love who you are, it's okay. It's all okay and there is no war. That would be my world and I would like to take my kid to that place. Love that. All right, now this is a very, very special event. Like I said, you're some of the first to see this movie, but... Well, I was just thinking that, you know, you probably are bored to see me, so... Um, <laughs> Today. I thought since, um, since I've been waiting 17 years to see her as a character, I thought maybe I will invite our America Jones! Your birthday, your, your 16th birthday yeah, as this character. Cool. 
What's your favorite characteristic of America Chavez now that you've played her? That's really hard. I mean, there's so much to choose from. Um, I mean, what I really enjoy about her is that she's charismatic, and she's powerful, and she's smart. Um, and, I'm, and you'll be seeing her on screen just not that long, so I'll let you guys uh, watch the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Just shout it. That's true. That's true. That's right. I mean, of all the times to act on the stage, okay, <laughs> avoiding any Marvel snipers. Yeah. You're also such a powerhouse in the comics, and not giving anything away. Yeah. What was it like the first time you got to see some of the elements of the film for you living on the set? Like your imagination versus the visual effects already done? I mean, uh, it was my first time working with green screen, so lots of trusting the process. <laughs> What's so great about Sam, uh, Sam Raimi, is that he would cut the movie as we were filming. So that really helped for me because I was like, oh, I'm just standing there. <laughs> um, but I mean, if it weren't for that, I probably wouldn't have really known uh, because there was like drawings of what the portals would look like. So that really helped me. I was like, okay, well, if I'm punching it, I know what it's going to look like. It really yeah. helped my imagination. I love the way this all translated, and I love your character so much in the comics, and it's a very, very beautiful character to see on screen, and I want to make sure that you guys get to that as soon as possible. So before we dive in, I do want to take a picture with everybody. You guys want to do a big selfie? You guys in?